Welcome back, IP3. How are you doing? I hope you are great and staying home, staying safe, and you are ready to learn. So let's get started with our new lesson. Okay, this is our seventh lesson for this semester, and we are uh, continuing talking about table creation in Microsoft Word. So let's go. Uh, okay, first let's have a review from our last class. What is a table? A table is when you go to the insert tab and you select the table and you can display uh, information using this table, which is not a dining table like this. It's not this, it's this one to show information, numbers and names. So you can go to the insert and then you can click table and insert the table that you like. You can select how many rows or how many um, columns your table will have using this. So here is 10 by six, or it can be 20 by six. It can be any size that you want or that you need. Table design helps you to choose the design that you need for your table. So you can select the styles, the, the look, how it look, what color, how the lines look, and all the details like that. Layout is basically there to help you um, do such things as deleting a column or a row inserting uh, above or inserting below for a row, or if it's a column, you can insert in the left or insert in the right. Now let's talk about cell. Do you remember what cell was? In each cell, you can type the information such as uh, numbers, names, or topics. So this is a cell. This is a cell. This is one cell. Now, other options to insert a table, there are other ways to do this, which we will talk about. You choose the number of columns and number of rows using this. This is how you can insert a table also, this is the second way, which you can type in that you, you want maybe five columns, which is here. You can see here will be the number of columns and you can type in how many columns do you need? Five, 10, 20, depends how many. Number of rows, how many rows do you need? One, two, 10, 20, how many? All right, once you choose the numbers here, you can uh, click okay. So you just click okay and you get your column. The other option is to draw the table, to, to draw the table. So. The option before was inserting a table using this. This one is drawing a table. You can draw by using your mouse. So you use your mouse and you can draw your table. You move your mouse and you just draw a layout of your table. So you click draw a table. Now, Let's open Microsoft Word and learn more about the basic icons and 
com uh, command to design the tables. Okay, now let's go and open our Microsoft Word. Let's open a new blank page. Let's make it a full screen. And then we come to the insert tab. We come to the insert tab. Once we're in this insert tab, as you remember, this was the first way to create a table, very fast, very efficient. You can choose how many uh, columns and how many rows. Let's say this many, you just click and it creates for you automatically. All right, that's the first way, okay? The second way is you come to insert, you click here, you come to insert table, insert table. Once you click that, you come to the columns. Let's say we want eight columns and five rows. And we just select okay. And that's what we get. Very easy. So first way was using this. Very simple, but maybe limited, which you can only choose 10 to 8, 10 by 8, right? But if you have more rows and more columns, you just click insert table and choose the number. And our other way is draw the table. Drawing the table is quite simple. You just drag your mouse like this. You hold, you hold uh, using left click on your mouse using this one. You hold it and you drag, you drag over your screen, okay? You drag it over your screen. Once you drag it over your screen, you can draw inside that, all right? You just, the same way you hold and you drag as you need it. I can draw like this. I can make it smaller, bigger, very small, it can draw for you just like this, all right? And then you can also draw the rows using your mouse, just like this. You can make it in the middle, you can come down here, can be all the way. So it gives you more freedom, right? But it will take longer for sure. It will take longer. So if you want more freedom, I suggest you do it by the first or second way. And when you finish, you can just come back and you still can draw, you can see here, right? You still can draw your um, table as you like. You can add more, you can edit more. However, you can do something else too, to help you out. You can come select your table. You select your table, you go to layout, and as you remember, we can merge. We select this one and we select merge cell. We select merge cell, all right? We can select this one again also. Select the whole thing, merge cell, and we get a whole empty spot, right? So it, it's fine what you, if you want to have more freedom like this, uh, you can do it, but it will take very long time to make a table like this. So we don't really do it like that. What you can do, which makes more sense is you can come make your table one of the first two ways, this one, or insert the table like this, 
once you insert, let's make it a few more columns and let's get it done. Let's say 15 columns and 10 rows. All right, so once we get this and we want to have more freedom, we can select like this and we can go to layout and merge just like that. We can come here and merge. We can come here and select this many and merge. So we will have a big empty spot there. We can type inside, we can type here, we can type here. So you can see we have the freedom that we need. And let's say we need, let's say we have this place uh, empty, right? But let's say we need one cell and we can choose column or row. Let's say two columns. So we get two columns. Let's go back. Let's say two rows and one column. So that's what we get. Two rows and one column. All right. So this is the ways you can edit and also if you remember, insert above, insert below, insert left, insert right. That's how you can create a, a, a table and edit it as you like. This is how you can separate, okay? And as you remember, this was the table design, which you can have many different designs as you desire and as you need, depends on how you want it. Okay. And that's about it, about our table design. Don't forget, we can choose colors using this, black, white, orange, we can give borders. We can give the size for the borders, the type of the borders. We can edit everything using here. Just by selecting like this or like this. If we need a very thick one, we can select very thick and draw it just like that. Draw it here like this, right? So you are very free to edit it as you need to have a better um, understanding for the person who is looking at, the, at your graph. So these help you a lot to make it more visual and be able to see it better basically, okay? And don't forget your delete. You can delete using, you just select the one you wanna delete and you go to layout and click delete and you just delete the cells. You can delete columns. You can delete rows, you can delete table, all right? And don't forget about the font when you type in, when you type in, you can select your type and change the font style to Arial or any font you like. You can select the size, bold, underline, color, color of the text, and all these details are very easy for you to edit as you need, right? Okay, so uh, that's about it for the lesson. And 
for your homework, we have a Google Forms for you to do, okay? This Google Forms is basically a worksheet trying to um, see what you have learned so far. Just a homework from uh, lessons four to seven, trying to assess all your work and see how much you have understanding of these lessons from lesson four to lesson seven. All right, so you just click the link. I will attach it for you in e-learning website. So you just go to the Google Forms and answer all the questions and send it for me. All right, small note, when you write your name, please write your nickname in English. And for Patai ID number, you write down your uh, five digit, I think, five digit number or 10, I'm not sure. Uh, I think it's five digit, right? Not your class number, just your Patai ID number, all right? Your nickname and Patai ID number. Okay, that's all. This uh, Google Forms is due to Thursday, 19th of August. So make sure you finish it before 19th. And that's all. Please, if you have not finished all your homework, finish it as soon as possible and send it to me. That's all. Thank you for today. Take care and stay safe. Have a good day. Bye-bye.